NBA prop picks for Friday, April 19th. The playoffs are here. We'll get our final two seeds, and we roll along. I'm back from vacation. Those of you following on my personal TikTok and YouTube pages, thank you for that. Back here on the DFS Army channel. Links down below. I got two plays for you. We got prize picks, underdog, sleeper, chalkboard. It's good on all those sites. Check the links down below for some promo codes, deposit matches, all the good stuff, or to join DFS Army. But for now, guys, let's go find some plays. Play number one for today, the first spot I liked. Let's go ahead, let's go full screen to some odds value. We're going to talk, we're going to look up Keegan Murray. More than 17 and a half points is the first play that I like. Here at DraftKings Sportsbook, I got to scroll down, obviously, to the play. Really simple reason number one here, odds value. Odds value to me is always king when it is available. Keegan Murray minus 135 at a solid uh, solid odds value. But let's dig into the player himself. If you watched the game the other night, you know Keegan Murray was unconscious. I am going to scroll down here. So for some reason, ESPN is putting the, the playing games under this re spring regular season. Weird how they have it sorted right now, but we'll go with it. 32 points against the Golden State Warriors. 8 for 13 from 3, 10 for 20. This is important that he got 39 minutes, 20 field goal attempts. They obviously have to win again on Friday night, expecting to see a lot of the ball, a lot of shot attempts again. Obviously, he's going to get more defensive attention, but still, the dude is playing well and getting a ton of shot attempts. What has he been doing in the last 10 games? Well, obviously, he made it last time out against Golden State. We're looking for more than 17 and a half points is the play that I found posted. So obviously 18 points is a winner. We're just going to do it the good old fashioned way here. You got, he's been over in one that we already counted, two, three, four, five, six, and one more game in the last 10 is, te is uh, seven. Seven and three in the last 10, four. Keegan Murray. So Keegan Murray, higher than 17 and a half points. is play number one with a minus 135 odds, the seven and three record in the last 10, and just the crazy form in that he's getting a ton of the ball. The 20 shot attempts put me on my ass, 32 points against Golden State. All of that for me is good for play number one. Play number two, where are we going to go? We are looking at Nikola. No, not Jokic. They're not playing yet. Um, but we're going to get there. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of Jokic here in the postseason. Nikola Jovic, higher than four and a half rebounds. Now, right here, you're looking, we're going to start off here with his uh, ESPN stat page. And immediately people are saying he only averaged 4.2 in the season. But let me cherry pick some other stats for you. Actually, first, let's scroll down. Let's look at last time out in, in the postseason here. Sorry, I need to go. Click on the recent games. We go to the game log. We scroll down. I don't like the scrolling, but that's what we have to do here. Only played 14 minutes in this game and still got five rebounds. Butler's out. I'm pretty sure I saw that news earlier. Now, as I say that, I'm like, wow, I don't want to look like a giant, giant schmuck, for those of you who know what that means, uh, and be wrong here. So let's just let's go back to the heat real quick. Navigate ESPN, make sure I saw the news, and all of you are like, I can't believe it. Uh, Jimmy Butler, the latest news. It Yes, he's been diagnosed with a sprained M MCL and will miss several weeks. Five hours ago, man, I am behind, but that's what happens when you uh, work a full-time job, boys and girls. All right, so Jimmy Butler definitely out, making sure I did see that correctly, and I am not the world's biggest idiot. Hit the like button for that. Um, okay, so... Jovich had five last time out against Philadelphia. Not a ton of minutes in that game. And minutes can be a bit sporadic. But with that, you know, he's been all over the place from 15 to 20 games with, I mean, this is double overtime 40, but he can be in this mid 20 range. And regardless, he got there in the mid, in the mid, uh, in the mid teens, trying to find another situation where he did that. He had you know, 20 also against Philadelphia. Uh, had five rebounds. Point is, with Butler out, I think there's going to be more minutes to go around. I'm not sure exactly where they're going to end up. 
it's kind of hard to predict what this Heat team is going to do. But I like the spot Jovic is in. You also go back, despite the fluctuating minutes, let's do his last 10. We're looking, we need at least five rebounds to cash. We have the one we already hit. We got two. We got three. We got four, five, six, and seven with just the one, two, three misses. Seven and three in his last 10 as well. What's going to put the cherry on top here for Nikola Jovic? Head on over. This is a site called hashtag basketball.com. It's got all the DVP data you would need. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to change position to the power forward position, which is where Jovic plays. I'm going to sort by rebounds allowed. And as you can see, right up top, Chicago, the good old Bulls allow the second most rebounds per game to the power forward position. So let's do our quick recap, recap here on Nikola Jovic. The play is higher for, higher than four and a half rebounds. We got Butler out. Should be some more minutes to go around. He had five last time out against Philadelphia in just 14 minutes. He's seven and three in the last 10. And Miami has the second worst DVP numbers against the power forward position. Those are the two plays. Am I already sharing my screen? I didn't mean to share uh, the final plays. I went full screen. I got to go back to my control panel, and I didn't. So let's pull up the full slip. This is what I'm rocking with today. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you didn't already. Draw me a comment with what your favorite plays of the day are. Remember, these are fine for underdog, prize pick, sleeper, chalkboard. I'm not differentiating plays anymore. Follow everything. Join DFS Army, and let's go Keegan Murray higher than 17.5 points and Nikola Jovic higher than 4.5 rebounds. I got these initially on underdog, so that's why the underdog banner is down below. But again, check everything out. Here's the daily reminder for those of you who don't know that whether or not you are a DFS Army member, you probably should be. But either way, good luck in those contests, and I will see you next time.